Um, I believe the Holy Spirit wants to help us this morning. Amen. Think about it. How many are surprised that the Holy Spirit wants to help you? This is what he's going to do. He's going to give you a word of wisdom. Yeah, he's going to give you a word of knowledge, faith, to believe something, which means to obey something. Yeah. Amazing. Now, how many know that God has answered many prayers? But sometimes it looks like he's answered, but there's still some of the madness is still there. Huh? It's like a problem is gone, but there's some small. So look at Luke 17, verse 12. And as he entered into a village... And this is what we are praying. So now we are praying about your, your life and your ministry. I mean, your life, your ministry. You know, um, I don't know your life, your ministry, your work. I think especially your life. Because you see, ministry is from you. It's from how your life is. So you can't really minister beyond your life. So this is the story of Ten lepers, ten men that were lepers, which stood far off. And they lifted up their voice and said, Master Jesus, have mercy on us. My God. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go show yourselves unto the priests. And it came to pass as they went, they were cleansed. Everybody say cleansed. Oh, yes. They were cleansed. All right. Now, one of them, when he saw that he was healed, everybody say healed. Healed. So cleansed, healed, turned back and with a loud voice, glorified God. All right? And he fell down at his face and at his feet, giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. Today, God is about, listen, this is the, look, this is the master key. And master something God is trying to show you for your life and your ministry. And that's what we are going to pray as we come to the end of our prayer time. I don't know exactly. We'll end soon. Look, if you have to go, just go. It's not not a struggle. Okay? All right. God bless you. And he fell down on his face and at his feet, giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. And Jesus answered and said, were there not ten cleansed? Where are the nine? And they, there are not found that return to give glory to God. Save this stranger. And he said, Arise, go thy way. Thy faith has made thee whole. Yet another word is being used. So first cleansed, then healed, then whole. So many problems are healed, but you are still not whole. See, many problems are, and they are all different words in the Hebrew. One is akumaya, one is uh, some other word, katarizo, and then whole is sozo. Yes, sozo. So you see, how many realize that? You see that the problem is solved, but not some part is still alive. Have you seen a lizard who is dead and the tail is still moving? (laughs) Huh? Even a snake that the head is cut off and you see that something is moving. It's still scary. So today, any problem that is healed, but it's not perfected, God wants to do that. Now, how did this man get to the perfection? The Bible says, he, he in verse 15, he turned back. You see, sometimes no one wants to turn back. Say, so I, I want to forget about everything. He turned back. Then 
he had a loud voice. Huh? Then he glorified God. Do you see? He saw the God element in the thing. Then he fell down. He did about seven things. On his face. Another one. And then at his feet. Another one. And then giving him thanks. Yes. And then he said, were there not ten things except this man coming to give glory to God? So anything in your life that is gone, but there's something left. Do you have things like that? It's okay, but there's still a remnant. Today, we are praying about it. Oh, look at this. Because the lizard is not moving, so I think it is dead. But the tail is alive. Remainder the tail. Tata mola mada sata baraba. Every tail that is still moving in the name of Jesus. But I want to tell you something before we, we, before we pray. You know, years ago, I felt the Lord telling me to go and honor Kenneth Hagin, and I almost didn't. But when I did, I was glad I did and all that. I mean, it had no meaning to him. In, I, don't know, I don't think he knew what it meant but to me. But the, what the Holy Spirit was saying is that even though I had received an anointing through which I had even become a minister and I had been able to even travel to Tulsa, it was like there is something in the spiritual transaction which is not complete. And that whatever it was, I needed to return to say thank you. And it's like a spiritual thing. That it was like God was upset with me that I wasn't doing that. I was not meeting any need that he had. He would, not, he doesn't, he would never have needed anything that I gave him. But it was like there's a spiritual... Tra- and you see, when you give somebody something, the, you are taught in proper cultures... You say thank you even before you receive it. Oh, thank you very much. Then you take it. So the absence of certain things is also a cause of uh, things not being complete. Yes. In the realm of the spirit. So I pray that whatever is in your life is done, but maybe it's not completely done. Uh, may the Lord himself show you what? A word of wisdom. What you are supposed to do. Yes. Only this Samaritan came back, fell down, rolling over. It's like, so you can see that the thank you, you can say it in many ways. Many ways to say thank you. It wasn't just one way. Falling down at his feet, glorifying God, loud voice, all that. Many ways. And I believe that there are many ways to say sorry. That's why sometimes sorry is not just, hey, look, sorry for left, or sorry for yesterday, or sorry for last time. But you see, the sorry is not deep. And the sorry does not reveal your revelation of what you actually did. Yes. So this man's, the way he loud voice, falling down at his feet, giving thanks, glorifying God, is that the thank you was deep. It wasn't just, hey, thanks, or send a text. You don't send a text, somebody gives you a car, or somebody gives you a house, thanks for the car. Wow. That also reveals, you see, that's why things don't go. Because the transaction doesn't end in the realm of the spirit. Yeah. Things are over, but not over. It's over, but it's not over. So I don't know what you are dealing with, but I believe that God wants us, you things to end. Is it ended? It should end. But it's not ending because it's not ended. Yes. 
he was healed, but he was not whole. Only one of them got whole. The others went with healing without being whole. Jesus said, your faith has made you whole. So it was one leper who was whole. The rest were just healed. A lot of sicknesses come back later. Yes. Show us the lizard. Remainder. No, no, no. The one with the... Oh, this is not looking nice. No, the other one is better. Ah. Yeah, this one. You see, the lizard, the main body has been struck. It looks like somebody struck it. So it is not alive. I don't think it's alive. But the tail is still moving. You want to have this one with you? No. Whatever is remaining today by the grace of God. Amen. God is making you whole. Some of you, you said thank you, but the thank you is not. It has about seven elements for the thank you. Some of you have said sorry, but maybe the sorry has about some elements in it. Yes. Some of you have told the truth, but we've told the truth in a way just partly like this waving. It's mixed with some whatever. It's not complete. May there be wholeness. 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 Every standing. Father, in the name of Jesus. Pandoka Paramanda Baba. Jesus. Please, in this last prayer. Mm. This is the word of wisdom and God is trying to help you. Ah, thank you it's Lord. going, but you behold. You are not carrying around any remnants. Bella, 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 Bella,
Ando la bobina bela 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 Koba ya bela 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 Lucien de la bela Roman Foka second Tolo bela 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 Roba ba 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 Lo me shoke bela 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 Yes, Lord. Number one, spiritual fingerprints. Any fingerprint of anybody that is still on you. You see, that's how the, even the, in the realm of the spirit, it's like there's a print. So spiritual fingerprints. Somebody's hand that has touched you. The character, that there's something on you. It, the hand is not there, but the print is there. Number two, footprints. Kata mandola, spiritual footprints. Oh yes, you are, you are healed from that thing, but the fit, footprint is there. And it's, sometimes they are invisible. But you see, it somehow leaves something. Number three, every spiritual smell. Spiritual smell that is on you. Do you know that sometimes if you have been in the kitchen, there's a smell? You smell of food or smoke. Yes, there's a smell. So even though, oh, I'm nowhere near food, I'm nowhere near fire, I'm nowhere near smoking, but there's a smell. So even though you are free from the smoke, but there's a smell. That's what I'm saying, that sometimes you see that problems are solved, but there's something there. Lift your hand and pray right now. My God. Ando katama. Hey, kova. Mind every. Hey. Let us every fingerprint. Yes, yes, yes. Footprint. Let me go all over that. In the name of Jesus. Yes. 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 Oh, 
The next one is spiritual contamination. And number four, five is spiritual defilement. That's why the word in the Bible, defiled, unclean. What are these words? What are these words? What is unclean? Is it, is, 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 is it there? It is there. It is there, but not clean. It doesn't even say evil, but unclean. Contamination. And number six, spiritual influences. Because sometimes when you have been with a deceiver, if what the person lie over and over, you learn how to lie. You learn how to deceive. Because it's just natural. Gossip. When you've been with people who gossip, who speak about people, talk about, you learn it. You don't know that you are learning. You just become like that. When you go into a group that all of them just gossip and talk about everybody, you just enter that same group. So every spiritual influence, you are healed, though, but you are not whole. Lift your hand. Pray about it right now. Hey, it is Koba. ending. Yes. In the name of Jesus. In the name Contaminations, of Jesus. Contaminations, and spiritual influences. Kasike. Oh, Finally, gaps, hey. spiritual gaps. Ezekiel 13 verse 5 says, You have not gone up into the gaps, neither made up the hedge for the house of Israel. So sometimes you may be attacked. You've overcome the attack, but there is a gap in the hedge. The window that the arm robbers passed through, the arm robbers have gone, but the the window is still open. So you need to make up the gap. That's why I said that sometimes problems are solved, but it's not completely solved. I don't, I don't know if you understand. Maybe I should go to Malawi to explain these things. Yes. How many realize you have had some serious problems and they seem solved, but not completely, wholly gone? Today, in the name of Jesus. I see the gaps. Lift your hand, thanking God for the gaps. My God. My God. My God. God. The gap the gap is being filled. Oh, the the edge. gaps are being filled. You have not gone into the gaps. Oh, 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 Neither made up the edge. Oh, 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 Today, we make up the gaps. Whatever 
whatever the gap is. Yes. Whatever the gap is. Yes. Paloma Nakabaha. Mandola Bashanda Ramada. People watching, you are not an orangu, but you are defiled. Yes. Wow. You are not an orangu, but you are defiled. There's a scent and a footprint and a voice and an influence that has affected you, has changed you. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you are not into the same sin, but there's a contamination. Lift your hands. Father, any gap that yes. is left. Yes. Oh, Tale Ramana. Devlo Vige Sopan Kanto Zeveni Kola. Talando Makete ah. Le Manda. Ivelo Kasuke Pakada. Talagre Yada Bada. My God. Wada Bada 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 Bada. Rebecca Tele Bada 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 Bada. Lift your hand like this. Lift my hand like this. Lord, I push away. Lord, I push away. Fingerprint. All fingerprint. Spiritual sense. Contamination. Defilement. Defilement. Influences. And the name of Jesus. My God and my Lord. I push away. I push away. I push away. Everything that can heal gold. Oh, yes. is not yet whole. Oh, yes. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every standing, every standing, every holy high God, my 
my God. Holy hand. Randa Bala. Holy hand. Davido Mo. Holy hand. San Paolo. Holy hand. 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 Every problem. That is finished. That is not finished. My God. But not yet finished. My God. In the name of Jesus. Akabo Kala. Akabo Kala. Bala 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 Type, I dust myself. I dust myself. And erase myself of all spiritual fingerprints. Right? You see, show them the words. Spiritual fingerprints, footprints, scents, contaminations, defilements, influences, and gaps whereby I might be demonically identified. Because the demons identify the scent. And they see the footprint there. Say, so, aha, uh-huh, this is one. It's one of our former slaves. That's how police identify you. And that's how the demons identify. They smell the thing. Say, so, uh, that's how wolves, wolves, lions, they all go by the scent. From afar. And invaders, they look at gaps. This side is a weak gap. We can go through here. Listen, I am prophesying to some people. Write it. I what did I say you should write? I I dust. Yeah, dust, you see, fingerprint, you have to dust it off. I dust and erase. Dust and myself and erase my I re- erase fingerprints, footprints, spiritual sense whereby I might be demonically identified. Demons will not identify you, amen. Because all traces are gone. Yes, every problem I feel. There's problem 90% is gone. It's left with 10%. Hey, how many have experienced that before? I think maybe I must be, I must be the only person in this room. I'm mostly praying with angels. I'm mostly praying with angels. Pleasant surprise. I don't think they have such problems. Yes. Maybe next time I have to see candle in the dark. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Demonic identification. ID. You have been ID'd by the gap. You go along the head, you see a hole. That's the place. Go there. Lift your hands. Lord, everything that is used to identify me and always bring me 
yes. to a state of imperfection. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ, name of Jesus Christ. 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 my God. Demons of depression, oh, demons of confusion, are found in the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Every trace, yes. every trace, every trace that links me, that links to the past, yes. to evil, to evil, to wickedness, wickedness. I remove it, my God. I remove it now. Now, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. My God. Now, how many realize that God is giving us a formula? This man came back and he fell down. You see, it's such a different response. The other guy said, oh, thanks. You have been healed of leprosy. Eh? That is like, I mean, the terminal disease of those days. If you want to understand leprosy, watch uh, this movie, Ben-Hur. Ben-Hur. If you want to understand leprosy, how it affected them. Ben-Hur. The original Ben-Hur movie. Their life changes because of leprosy. Not even thank you. This man fell down on his head. And that's oh, Charlie. Oh, it's gone, eh? Oh, well, that's good. That's nice. And move on. This guy's falling down on his face, rolling over, thanking, shouting, glorifying, and then he turned back and made a journey. You see, I think sometimes our, you see, the sorry is supposed to end things, but many times it doesn't end it. Confession is supposed to end, but many times it doesn't end it. Thank you is supposed to end certain things. It doesn't end it. Writing letters of apology is supposed to 
Many things, it's ended, but it's like not fully ended. Not really, really ended. It's not deep. It's not deep. It's not. That's why the demons go back and they come back and they look and they say, aha, uh-huh, the house is empty. We are going back. So as we end, lift your hand and thank God. I don't know what it means to you, but I know that it means something to somebody. Whoever you are praying with us, mm-hmm. because we are closing now. My God. But we are thanking God. Thanking God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are showing me wisdom. Oh, this yes, is how the Holy Spirit helps our lives. It gives ma, ma, wisdom, ma, 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 knowledge, ma, ma, ma. Faith, healing, miracles, descending of spirits, speaking in tongues, interpretation. This is the help. God is helping you right now. The Holy Spirit is helping you. It's helping your life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Mm. You can get your Holy Communion as we just still thank God. Yes, conclusions are coming. Amen. Amen. Get your communion ready as we pray. Pandola Makapalanda Balandale. My God. Open the vessels up. Open the vessels up. Open the vessels up. Let's go, 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 let's go
Oh yes. My God. Take out your, I think you should take an offering on this one. Mm. Yes. Wholeness. Wholeness. Perfect but whole. Thank God. I want you to take an offer and say, Lord, I thank you. You see, the thank you is not just a text. Yeah. But a deep thank you. That whatever has lingered on by the power of God, it's going to be in history books now. Mm. Yes. Mm. It's just going to be in history books. Mm. It's going to be in history books. Okay, take it. Thank you, Lord. Hara Pasta Tarama. Oh, yes. You want to give a flow offering and a thanksgiving? Everybody, please give. Give. Let's be grateful. You see, the one guy, he came back. Falling down, rolling down. This, uh, it's like Jesus notices such things. The depth of your thanksgiving, the depth of your gratitude to him and your faith. Yes, he notices it and he describes it. Falling down, coming back, turning back. This. The others, they continue their journey. They say, look, we are busy, you know. We have a lot of things to do. We can't be going back to these rabbis to be always saying thank you. Come on now. He, he must know that we are grateful. He told us to go and see the priest. Wow. Let's show deep gratitude in the church to God. Thank God for your church. Thank God for the books that you have. Thank God for your pastors. Thank God for your founder. Thank God for the teachers. Be show gratitude to God for all that he has done for you. Thank God for the flow prayer meeting. Be grateful. As you see us driving in the middle of the night to be in a studio. Throughout all the time, you don't know what it means. So let's be grateful. Not just, I mean, send an attitude now type of whatever. No. Are you still there? Yeah. I think in Malawi is calling me. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Give your offering. And with thanksgiving, Lord, I thank you. Oh, yes. 